Hi, my name is Alyssa. I'm 5'9", I'm independent, and I'm non-union. Looks like you have a guardian angel. Try to stay awake for a minute, will you? I just need to tell you a few things. I want you to always listen to your father. He's your best friend. And family is really important. And for boys. I know it's still too soon for you, but I want you to always treat them with respect. If you say something, do it. Because your world is your bond. And if you have a chance to make money, go for it. Even if it means selling out once in a while. Don't be stubborn like your mother. Don't smoke. And try to be kind. And if somebody chooses you, be strong and stand up for yourself and don't get in the middle of the bad stuff there's too many great things out there I've been studying all night to become Miss Minnesota. I never realized until recently that this is my calling. Up until last night, I thought I wanted to go to secretary school, but I've opted for a more glamorous and socially fulfilling career choice. I'm going to become Miss Minnesota and feed the starving children in third world countries. It came to me in a dream last night. Well, more like a vision I had. I saw myself in a cute bathing suit with cute polka dots on it and I had a tiara and a sash and, and everybody loved me. And I was surrounded by all the hungry children and feeding them pizza and the president of the United States of America was there. And she said, Miss Murray Baker, Miss Minnesota, you have changed the world. I smiled. I waved, I even cried. So as an American girl, I feel compelled to make my dreams come true. Thank you. This is not important. It's important to me. It's my chance to do something that means something. Means something to who? You had a career before the third comic book movie, before people began to realize who was actually behind the bird costume. You were doing a play based on a book that was written 60 years ago for a thousand rich old white people whose only concern is where they're gonna have their cake and coffee when it's over. Nobody gives a shit about you. And let's face it, Dad, it isn't for the sake of art. It's because you wanna feel relevant again. Well, you know what? There are so many people out there who fight to be relevant every day. And you act like it doesn't even exist. Things are happening in a place that you so willfully ignore. A place that has already forgotten you. I mean, who are you? You hate bloggers, you make fun of Twitter, you don't even have a Facebook page. You're the one who doesn't exist. You're doing it because you're scared to death, like the rest of us, that you don't matter. Well, you know what? You're right. You're not important, it's not important. Get used to it. I need to know what happened to Ben. Nah, I wanna hear it from Wendy. They tracked us down the road. I don't know. I don't know how. Maybe Ben said something. All I know is that Helen's men... Helen's men showed up and they pointed a gun at Ben and told him to get into the SUV. In front of witnesses? It was empty. That's convenient. I don't know what you want from me. I want you to stop lying and tell me what Ben is dead. Ben is dead because he, you took him out of the hospital where he was safe. Ben is dead because you thought you knew him better only after two fucking months than I after his whole life. You fucking murdered him. 
I begged you not to get involved with him. Do you know about this? Hmm? Your own fucking brother, huh? Don't you look at me with blame in your face. I spent my whole life protecting him. You did this. This is on you. Did you watch him die? Or were you too chicken shit like with my dad? We dragged you out of that trailer. We brought you into our family and you're still too dumb to listen to us. I fucking quit. It's always somebody else's fault? What about your uncles? Is that also somebody else's fault? Or did you actually murder them? I'm fucking done, Marty. You don't get to quit on the drug cartel, sweetie. What are you gonna do? Kill me? You fucking bitch wolf. I said I'm fucking done. I appreciate everything you've done for me, but I'm not your daughter. I don't have to stay in your shit!